Hello, I'm Dave Beach, host of Cold Coffee and Stale Donuts, where we take a few minutes to learn about our incredible staff here at Ritter Insurance Marketing. Welcome to our next episode of Cold Coffee and Stale Donuts. Today, I have brought Melinda Sebring down from the contracting department. Melinda, welcome to uh, Cold Coffee, Stale Donuts. Thank you. So Melinda, what exactly do you do up in contracting? Well, I'm a contract analyst. So basically what I do is I handle hierarchy changes, level changes, um, anything that that moving business for like a deceased agent. I will do transfers, terminations, anything that basically has to be done. And then in my spare time, I do contracting. How long have you been with Ritter? 11 years. 11 years. Been in the insurance like business that. for 34. 34. You know, I remember in our old building, mm-hmm. um, right. you or I were always the first two in the building. Um, back Still. then, now you are. I, back then, I used to come in at 5, 5.30, and um, now not so much. Uh, stay a little bit later, but I always remember we'd be opening up the, uh, the office. So the first thing I want to do, it's just a simple favorite. So I'm going to ask you, you tell me what your favorite sports team is. Uh, anything Pittsburgh, and I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have to be sorry. <laughs> I know you're a Philly fan. Well, you know, I, one thing I know about the office is we have a pretty good Philadelphia contingency. We have a pretty good Pittsburgh contingency. So it's kind of expected. We also have some Baltimore and and uh, Washington. But favorite food? Pizza. Favorite movie? I'm not a big movie fan. Um, I just like the entertainment ones like, you know, Legally Blonde is a good one. I, I'll watch that a lot. If you're listening to music, what's your favorite uh, type of music? I love all kinds of music, but I prefer country. All right. Favorite board game? Monopoly. And your favorite fast food? Chick-fil-A, probably. All right. In favorite. So now we're going to move on to this or that. Okay. So I'll give you two. You pick one. Okay. Wine or beer? Champagne. Roller coaster or merry-go-round? Merry-go-round. I don't like heights. Beach or lake? Lake. Spicy or sweet? Spicy, mostly. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Do you have a dog? I do not. Not at the moment. Okay. Book or movie? Uh, books. Tell me a little bit about your your family. and your. And... I'm single. I have uh, an older brother and sister, so I spoil their kids, or spoiled their kids, and now they're, they're grandchildren. Um, that's pretty much it. I've got a very small family now. <laughs> well, Melinda, here's the one question I didn't pre-ask you. So okay. it's the million dollar question. That is, um, Melinda, what do you and people on your team you know, that work around you in the contract report, what do you guys do that help our agents grow their business? Well, contracting, if an agent doesn't get contracted, they can't sell. They can't sell. Nobody gets paid. So we have to get the agent appointed with all the carriers or the carriers that they need for their state so that they can um, continue to, to write business and, and help the clients, which helps everybody in the company. Because then they'll come looking for you know, what's best for the client and then they're into marketing and sales and our salespeople can reach out to them if they have a specific carrier that they deal with. It does all kind of start at contracting. Um, one, one other follow-up question and that is, well, what's the, in your opinion, what's the most common error whenever someone submits contracting? What's the most forgotten or what's the most common error that tends to slow the contracting process up? The most common errors are the requirements. They don't send in the requirements. Everything is right on the cover page. If they would just read the cover page, they would know what's needed by us. Um, a lot of agents, when we go out and reach for it, say, well, you should already have it. Well, unless you sent it to us, we don't have it. Well, and some of that is because even if we should already have it, there's a chance that it may have changed, whether it's a, a license or an address. You know, I know one thing, if, um, I mean, over the last 10 years, I've probably had three or four different addresses. So even though... Um, you may have something on file, it might not be accurate. So that's why we ask for, for them to send it to us each time. Absolutely. We had an agent that had a, uh, he, was, he lived in New Jersey. His agency was in New York. Well, some carriers frown upon that. You have to have resident states, have, everything has to match. And uh, it's very hard to compla- explain that to some people. But yeah, it's, it's, it's challenging sometimes. Well, hey, that's the message. The message is if you're sending contracting, double check that cover sheet and make sure everything that's on that. That's all I have, Melinda. It's that simple. So we will see you for our next cold coffee and stale donuts. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you. (laughs)